Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Worlds Adrift. Uh, we're back on this island that actually I arrived at with the little friend that I, I met up with playing last time. So there was somebody that we bumped into when we were on the live stream as we started into Alpha 6.0. And we just happened to run into each other. And actually, there's a chest right down there. I should go grab that. Uh, we just happened to bump into each other. I uh, didn't know the guy, but we did pair up. Uh, and uh, we joined joined forces to build a ship together. And then we set off into the wild blue yonder. Um, now, I jumped off at this island here, and that was uh, probably a week or two ago. So I think he's uh, he's kind of sailed on his way now, which is fine. Uh, he's off doing his whole thing. I should actually see. Do I have a crew? I do still have a crew. So I have Madeline is apparently part of my crew. Uh, but I have no idea where his ship is right now. I haven't really communicated with him much since then either. So, you know what? I should probably should take all this stuff, even though I don't need that campfire. Now, we can always get rid of one of these. Let's just destroy this one. This here, unfortunately, is not a pattern, but what is this? Tier 1 engine. All right. I'll learn that. That can't hurt. Uh, we did gather a bunch of knowledge pieces last time. And we did build that tiny little ship together as well. But uh, I'd like to kind of build a ship of my own. Now, this island that we were on, uh, we ran into another uh, another player here who was actually uh, working on building a ship. His name was Captain Matchlock. And he was working on a ship over here, but he ran into a weird bug where it got stuck in place. And unfortunately, he can't... Uh, he can't move it, so he. I think he went off and built his, another ship somewhere else. But um, this one, uh, he did have quite a quite an impressive thing that he had built here. Though it looks like there's been some scavenging on it, so the ship's not entirely intact here anymore. Uh, looks like the wings that were on it were gone. I'm not sure if he had anything else on it, necessarily. At least not that I can see. At any rate, I want to build our own ship here, and I was kind of hoping like this island has been really busy from what I could see. There's lots of different ship pieces here, a number of different unfinished ships here too. So I was kind of hoping that I would be able to snag somebody's um, somebody's little shipbuilding station here, starport, oh, it's spaceport or whatever they call it, shipport, shipyard. I guess it is shipyard. That's what it is. Um, I was hoping I could snag somebody's shipyard. We could just take it over and build our ship on it. But it looks like uh, everyone's kind of moved on from this area, though they left lots of lots of hulking pieces of ship behind. I've already gone around and scavenged a little bit to see what kind of materials we can get off of stuff. But there's really nothing here worth snagging. There's even a really large ship that somebody started down lower here. You can actually kind of see see the remains of it sitting down there. It was a fairly big ship. Uh, but I don't know whether they just ran out of the necessary materials to build it. Or they changed their mind and moved on to something else. But nevertheless, it's not finished. So, what I want to tackle today is building our own sky ship. So we have our means to set off back into the sky. Now, I, I was apparently saved to a... Uh, crew respawner, so I might have been able to respawn on our tiny little ship, but given that I don't know where it is or what that guy's tackled since uh, since we last met up, uh, I think maybe I'm just going to build my own. And this looks like it's probably, there's probably enough space here to build one. So we'll have to go into our tool, we'll go into shipbuilding, we're going to need both a shipyard and an assembly station. Now one of the cool changes they made in the game here that I'm really happy about is you can actually combine metal now. So I have uh, like 20 there and I can take like 10 of this kind. Oh, no, maybe I can't. There we go. Okay, so even even though it was a different quality level, as long as it's the same type of metal, you can now combine them together. So, for example, if I take 94 of this one, this is quality 2. I guess this is all quality 2 that I have. And this one was quality 3. So I was able to combine quality 2 and quality 3, which is good. It used to be they had to be uh, completely separate and distinct. That was really kind of a drag. What else? What other kind of metal we have here that I can work with? So I need thirty more. I don't want to use too much of the, too much of the bronze there. I guess we'll stick some iron. Well, you know what? This thing's just going to stay on the ground. So I'm going to I'm going to use some of the, maybe some tin in it. Why not? And actually, I should take this out of here. I should make the whole thing out of tin. Simply because I don't have to worry about the weight down here. Uh, now, granted. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a lighter ship in some ways. Well, what's going on? Not enough inventory space Inventory space to craft the item. Uh oh, I have to do a little rearranging. All right, I couldn't get enough room, so I just decided to destroy the chest that I had in my inventory. I can't take it on the ship anyway. It's ultimately just something that you can leave on an island if you want to leave behind some supplies. I guess the only thing you can put on the ship to store stuff now is... Uh, I think there's some, like, some barrels or something you can use. Uh, wrong kind of material. Expecting metal. No, no, that's not what I want. Hold on, let's uh, let's equip this. The slot eight. 
And we'll just stick this down here on the island. Perfect. All right, we have a place we can build a ship now. Now, I did do quite a bit of gathering of materials, so I have a couple thousand metal. I have a couple thousand wood. I'm hoping we can make something that's of reasonable size. Uh, now, I also have picked up a little bit of knowledge along the way. So I had spent some of those points on uh, learning some engines. I think I have uh, a pattern I found for uh, for wings, which is good. Now, we don't have cannons just yet. At least not that I know of. I have knowledge of 115, so I wonder... Use $150 to recreate or to create a tier 1 engine schematic. Or $90 to create a cannon. $60 to create wings. I really should see what I can build in my assembly station. Um, let's see. For wings, so I do have a tier 1 wing that I can build. I wish you could see what it looks like before you build it. I don't know if it actually looks exactly like this little image that they have here. But if they do, I guess that's, that's a pretty cool little wing. That, that'll do fine, I suppose. Uh, engines, I have two different ones. The image for them looks the same on both, so I have no idea. I have no idea what the look difference is, but one of them has much better fuel efficiency. Slightly o lower overheat limit, but they have very similar power. So I'll probably take the one that has better fuel efficiency, I would think, when I build it. We'll also do some sails and stuff on this first one. So, okay, in our shipyard... Uh, well, actually, let's go back to the knowledge. I'm going to learn a cannon. Do you want to purchase tier one random cannons? Yes, I do. All right, so we can make cannon shells now, which is good. And uh, I think I actually even have... I have six cannon shells on me already. I just happened to find them in a chest. Not that they were of any use to me at the time. But there's our tier one cannon we can learn. Excellent. All right. I'm going to pick a schematic here. Now, I think... Uh, let's see. We're going to the crafting. Now, we'll, the one we built before was the dinghy, which is just this tiny little ship that ultimately wasn't very big. Skyship is the one that I built last time um, before the 6.0 update. Now, unfortunately, you can't see what it looks like here. If we edit it, we can see it. No, that doesn't entirely look like it either. That, that looks like a, a totally different schematic. Okay, so they must have changed it around. Tower was another one we have. This schematic's not saved. Yes, I want to unload it. I wish I could see what these look like. Behemoth version 2, which is kind of cool. Let's see what the spear looks like. Oh, that's interesting. So it's got a, like a lower portion and then like the flat tech at the top. Now the neat thing about this one is you could probably put a double helm on it. One at the bottom, one at the top. And then the one at the bottom would be good for like landing and stuff. Or you can even put cannons down lower down. This looks like the one that somebody actually started over there and then didn't finish. I think I'm going to work with this schematic, but I'm going to make a few tweaks to it to kind of get a design that I'm happy with. And then uh, we'll see what we can do about building it out. All right, after a lot of fiddling, I think I've come up with a design I want to try out. Now, this one's very, very, very loosely based off of a Star Destroyer from Star Wars. So, we've got, like, the, the general triangular shape to it. And then there's an, uh, an elevated bridge so that we can kind of go up top here. Now, what I'd like to do, ultimately, is get uh, get some stairs that you can now get in, in Worlds of Drift. They didn't have those originally in the uh, 5.0 alpha that I was trying out, but now they've, they've added those in, so I really want to kind of put some of those in. I think it'll look kind of cool. But with this will give us a large open space in the bottom that we can ultimately have a lot of storage and things inside there. Uh, large deck space on the surface. We've got the extended bridge on either side, which we can actually put a cannon up on either side of those, and that'll give us a really good firing arc, I think, even around sails that we'll have to have on this main deck in the front. Now, we can put engines on this, of course, uh, but we're probably going to have to have sails as well, just because uh, we're probably going to have a little bit of trouble with propulsion otherwise. So, I'm going to gonna save this. And then we'll see what we need. So, we're going to... Wow, it's going to take a lot of decking and a fair amount of beams, but fortunately, we did quite a bit of gathering, so I don't think we'll have too many troubles with the total number of materials that we'll need. Get some of this elm in here. There we go. Uh, and then we need 926, uh, so we're probably best to use bronze at this point. I don't think in combat the frames are taking damage just yet, although that's something that's going to be added later. Uh, so certainly it'll be one of those cases where... Uh, be one of those cases where ultimately we're going to want to be careful the, the materials that we build the frame out of also, just because... That's ultimately going to impact the durability of our ship. And I've got something all wonky with my camera mode here. There we go. All right, let's see this thing building. This is going to be a really big ship. Now, the, the tricky part here is going to be whether I can even make 
an anti-gravity unit is going to be strong enough to lift this thing. This is, I don't know what the weight is going to be like on this, but it is going to be a nice, big, weighty ship. This is looking sweet. <laughs> there we have it. It's uh, finally finished being built. It took quite a while. Not surprising, I guess, considering how big this thing is. Now, there are there is a little complication here I was not expecting to have to deal with, and that's that the ship doesn't seem to have decided that this section over here is, is decking, so I'm going to have to see whether it's going to let me put any deck pieces in there, because if not, that could be a little awkward. Went for a little plunge all the way down bottom there. Uh, this is the main deck down here, which is uh, fine. It's got a nice nice size to it, which is good. Plenty of room for storage and things in here, and as well as for any gravity unit and what have you. Uh, these decking pieces, though, are, there's, this really is going to trouble me, though, I think. Up top here is where I'm planning to put the bridge. Now, I don't know whether I should put the control stick out here in the front where we can access it, because I was thinking maybe putting staircases down the side on either side of those. And then maybe placing cannons out here on these sides so they can have a good firing arc. If I point them this way, then they can fire this way to the front and then all, anything out to the side as well as to the back. Now, it's going to make... Wow, look at the deck shifting. That's crazy. Wow. It's funny. It's only those end pieces that are doing that, too. That's really weird. All right. Well, hopefully that little kind of graphical bug, bug will kind of subside. But overall... I kind of like the layout of this so far. Hopefully we can put something put something together on it that'll be you know, a little bit reasonable looking. Uh, so, while this, that ship was building, I did build up the uh, little piece here we're going to need to do all of our crafting for the pieces that go on the ship. So, of course, we've got our power generator, power generator personal reviver. We've got our sail. Uh, our sky core. We have an atlas sky core. This can lift up to 1,000 kilograms of weight. And that is probably where we're going to have the rub. I do need to upgrade this. And I don't currently have the skill level I don't think to be able to upgrade it so hopefully hopefully we can make this thing light enough that it's not going to present any real challenges for us all right there's our sky core now we're gonna need to get up onto the ship here so we can place this thing so in order to make the ship move we're gonna need the sky core in order to get the lift uh, I can put some engines on it assuming we have uh, enough enough weight capacity here uh, I think I'm gonna put the uh, I don't know I'll put it right here in the, around the middle, I guess. There we go. So we've got our sky core. Uh, we can do, almost do like a little engine room down here. It should be kind of cool. The hard part here is that if, I, if, if the ship's too heavy and the sky core can't lift it, then that'll mean that I can't put paneling and stuff on it just yet, which leaves the sky core open to take damage if something somebody decides to come along and shoot at us. But hopefully we won't run into too many challenges that way. Uh, let's see. So structural, we can do decking. I should try doing try doing a deck piece and see whether this will let me put it on those sections that I really wanted to place the deck, but that the sh this ship didn't stick them on there automatically. I have a feeling it's not going to allow me to, uh, because if it, it recognized it as a piece that allows for for decking to go, then it, it would have stuck it there in the first place, I would think. Yeah, it's not it's not letting me put it in there. I don't know why that is. That's just kind of a funny little bug, I guess, with the uh, with the ship building at the moment. And I also don't have access to building stairs just yet, but that is something we can we can work our way up to. Uh, we really need to go do some exploring, and then once we get a chance to explore, we'll have a chance to find some more patterns. But I'm going to put a few more pieces on here. We'll try and get... Uh, well, we've got the sky core on there. Let's get the basics on here. Personal reviver is definitely something we're going to need. So we'll just do this. Get a little respawn tech going. Uh, I should see whether this will tell me how heavy this ship is. Uh, let me see. No, it's only giving me the individual deck pieces, 4.4 kilograms. Maybe I can... Can I shoot it on a frame and get the frame? 609 kilograms. So, we're going to be pushing it, I think, for the weight here. Can I do multiple sky cores, I wonder? Well, I put one sky core on here, and I was trying to put a second one on just to see whether I could get enough lift to carry this whole ship, because I'm not sure that this is actually going to be able to fly... Given how much weight this uh, the sky core can hold, this is a really bare bones ship at this point. There's almost nothing on it, but it looks like you can only have a single sky core per ship now, which is going to be a challenge. Uh, just wasted a few resources there, but that's okay. This is going to be really, really close to this thousand kilogram limit, and I have a feeling we're going to be over, and then we're not going to be able to fly this thing. In which case, we might have to go with a smaller ship until I can get an upgraded sky core, which kind of stinks because I really wanted to have a nice big. Big honking ship right off the bat. I mean, this isn't the behemoth ship or anything, but this is a pretty big one. 
I think this is the... I forget which one it was I modified here. I didn't take the one that I was looking at originally. I decided to modify a different one, but... I think we're at the point now where we can pretty much set sail as long as we have... Where are we here? In the basics, uh, let's see. We're going to need a helm. Once we have a helm, we should be able to fly, assuming this thing can handle the weight. If it can't, then I think we're going to have to go all the way back and start again at the beginning of the drawing board, which means I'm going to have to gather a whole bunch of resources again. All right, we have a helm. Hopefully we can fly now. So I'm going to register myself to this crew respawner there. So if something does happen to me, I can respawn right at the helm, which would be good. Uh, we have our we have double sails. I'd like to build more on this and put some more paneling and things. Uh, some cannons and that sort of thing. But I think we're going to need to upgrade our sky core before we can do any of that. Simply because of the amount of weight. This may not even fly with the amount of weight it has now. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to raise the sails. I only have two sails also, which isn't maybe optimal. I'd like to get some engines and things on this. It's going to be a big beast. It's not going to move very quickly. That is for sure. But hopefully, we can get some flight out of this thing. Come on, baby, go. There we go. We got enough lift. Nice. All right, so the ship flies. That's certainly a good plus. And actually, even with the two sails, we're, wow. We're just booking. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what happened? Why are we listing? Uh-oh. I'm not sure what's happening here. I don't know if that was just, like, the wind pushing us around. Or if, uh, as we got over off the island, it turned out that the ship isn't quite as flight-worthy as I thought. But that was a... That was a real steep pitch it took. I wonder if it's just a case of the ship's really unbalanced. There's a lot of weight on the front with the two sails. But I do have the sky core here. That, wow, we're really booking. I can't turn for the darn with this thing. Yeah. This, this ship is a little unwieldy. <laughs> I think we're going to need to get like some engines on this thing. Maybe some wings on it would be good too. See if I can kind of try and sail it back to our, our little, uh, little shipyard back there. And see if I can... Wow, we really took off fast. It goes forward really quick. It does not turn fast, though. If we can get back to our shipyard, though, maybe I can uh, put some wings on it. That will help help with the handling a little bit. Oh, it might look a little a little unwieldy, unfortunately, with the <laughs> once I get them on there. There we go. Oh, sail swung around the other way. Oh, no. This thing is turning so slowly, we might actually hit this wind wall over here, which would not be good news for me. Come on, turn, turn, turn. I can't believe how slow this thing's turning. <laughs> so there's the ship I had built in uh, in the the 5.0 of the Alpha before... Hold on, what are we doing here? Let's try to level this thing out a little bit so we're not pitching up so high. There we go. Come on, turn, baby, turn. Don't hit that wall. Okay, I, th I think we'll be in the clear. <laughs> Maybe I should have built one that's just a little bit smaller than this. So the handling would be slightly better. But we'll see. It's uh, I think part of the issue might be that I'm, I'm running pretty close to that weight limit. So maybe if we can get back here, we'll see if we can get some wings on this thing. If I can manage to maneuver this thing back into our, into our shipyard, which will certainly prove to be tricky, I think. If we can, then the wings might help a lot with the, with the, with the control a little bit. Can I tilt this thing way over too? There you go. Maybe it'll turn better if I tilt it at the same time as I'm turning. I think on a first attempt here, we might have even managed to maneuver this right back into our shipyard. Which would be good. So if we can set up shop here, then I can get a chance to try to put some wings on this and see if we can get a little bit better control. I did manage to get some decent control out of it. It's just very, very sluggish. And, oh, jeez, it's pitching way down again. Which is funny because I have the stick... I have the stick pulled back. But Alright, we managed to dock it, which is fantastic. Alright, I'm going to try and put some wings on this. We'll see if we go over the weight limit with the wings, because those will really be iffy. I'll try taking it from there. So the wings I was able to put on this thing are actually kind of cool looking. Uh, they're fairly small. I mean, they're only, they're only tier 1 wings, so they're not going to be super awesome. But hopefully they'll help a little bit with some of the control that we'll have with the ship. Uh, I've got them at kind of a funny little downward angle here so far, but uh, I think it does make for kind of a cool looking vessel. It does look neat. 
I mean, ultimately, I think it would be cool to have four wings on this thing in the end. Get some really good control out of it. But uh, for now, again, the weight is a real concern. So I'm not sure that even this is going to work. But we'll see. I think I'm going to take off. If, as long as we can still fly, I'm going to take off and head off towards another island. Uh, I'm not going to worry about building any more on, on the ship right now. But I will certainly add to this as long as it's still flyable. I really hope it is. If it's not... This is going to be a whole lot of wasted building. Go ship, go! Yes, we can get off the ground. How's our maneuverability now? Well, I don't have any sails up, so it's probably not so great, but... i got to head off in search of another island. We'll see if we can try to find some chests that will maybe unlock some more... Uh, some more patterns for us, because I'd really like to get an update or an upgrade to our Atlas Sky Core, so that at least we have the ability to try and carry a little bit more weight because this thing is really super heavy. Man. Uh-oh. Oh, as soon as I put it under sail, it started to drop. <laughs> that's that's probably not super promising. She's really heavy. We're riding right on that borderline, but I think we'll be okay. I'm going to head off in search of an island. We'll see if we can find anything cool. When we come back next time, maybe we'll do some more building on the ship. With any luck, I'll have found some more materials. And some more patterns so we can kind of upgrade our sky core and do a little bit more with it. I do ultimately want to get the cannons and everything on here. We can get a crew on board. I know Captain Matchlock has, uh, has volunteered to kind of help crew with me, which would be awesome. We can maybe go and have, uh, have a few adventures. But uh, thanks everyone for checking out the video. Come back and I hope you come back and check out some more. We'll definitely be playing some more Worlds Adrift. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.